Let's get it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bullpen. In the bullpen today, he's back. Shelly Winter, host of the Shelly Winter Show, 95.5 WSB, conservative talk. Good day, sir. Welcome. How are you doing, my brother? Good to see you. Good to see you too, my brother. Always good to see you. Not good to talk to you most of the time. It was good yeah, to just, see you. Though. Just good to see you. That's, that's it. Right, right. <laughs> Maybe give right. you a pound or something. That's it. That's right. <laughs> a little bro hug. All right, right, right. So this has been a fascinating, I guess, journey in presidential politics. Uh, because normally the vice presidential pick is a really, really big deal as far as you know, making someone stand out. Um, even inside of their own party. Trump is a different type of character. It, to me, it really doesn't matter who he chooses as a vice presidential pick as far as his popularity inside of the party. But maybe, possibly, just a little bit of the middle may be impacted by this VP pick. But I don't think he can pick a VP that hurts him um, at, like other people can. So we could talk about that. Who do you think is the front runner? And what do you believe Donald Trump is considering as it relates to a vice presidential running mate for presidency. You know, um, I, I gotta be honest with you. I don't know what he's thinking. And it's to your point that you just made a couple seconds ago, he's a different kind of candidate. Um, and to your point, which is a great point, in this case, it's not like he's the first time he picked Pence to 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 bring in the the establishment, if you will, mm -hmm. um, to have a control mechanism there of somebody who knew the system um, and someone that can be a check and balance against him going too far out of the system. And that system is just the Washington system, not the Republican or you know just the Washington system. Now I think he saw the mistake of that pick. Um, meaning in his eyes, the mistake of that pick. So now I have no idea what he's thinking. I wish I could tell you. I know what who I would like to see him pick, and it's totally against what the people on at what who the base loves. I'd love to see him pick a Nikki Haley. Um, only because Whoa, wait a minute, yeah, sir. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Man, you, to your can't, point. you can't say that in some circles, brother. The no, I know. you run in. Right. I, I'm telling you, you're right. I, and but it's to your point. You can't make a bad pick, and it's not. It's not a pick that's going to hurt you, except for that one. But that one helps right. you, right? <laughs> but that one helps you more than it hurts you because the base is not going anywhere. And I've said this to his people uh, umpteen times. I've said it on my show many times. The base is not going anywhere. He's admitted the base is not going anywhere back in 2016. So well, you don't have to talk to the 40% that's there. Now you have to talk to that 50, 60 percent, maybe that not 50, 60, but maybe that 25, 30 percent in the middle, particularly suburban moms, particularly soccer moms. And I think a Nikki Haley pick gives him that uh, that kind of calming influence that if it's if it's possible, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. speaking hypothetically, but I, I would like to see her. But I, I have no idea what he's thinking. I'm, I certainly hope he's not thinking of a Tucker Carlson, which I've heard bandied about. Because um, I may disappear from the from the uh, from the roles and go vote for, you know, you know, Cornell West just to make a point. But let me um, say this uh, uh, to your um, point about Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley polls in a very unique way. So let's take New Hampshire, for example. 41% of people that voted for her, now these are allegedly conservatives, right? So 41% of those individuals who in question, this was the during the exit polling. Um, hey, listen, if Nikki Haley doesn't get it, Trump becomes a nominee, do you vote for Trump? 41% of them said no, we don't vote for Trump. Like, right. damn, 41%? That's yep. high. Now, once again, that's not a prediction, that's just a snapshot, but that snapshot is really telling. And then the other part of this, the only positive number, and I, I look at polling data every single day now, the only positive number that I've seen Biden trend in is with suburban moms. That's yep. the only area he's actually increasing in and Donald Trump is decreasing in. Yep. Trump is starting to increase with young voters. He's starting to increase with minority voters. This is based on polling data, yep. but he's going the opposite direction with suburban moms. So you're saying, that a Nikki Haley may help stop the bleeding with that very consistent, very important voter base. Now, here's the other side of that. You have a guy who has put in his application, and I think he signed the application when he decided to do this. Here it is. Yeah. 
I, I, I couldn't I couldn't see it. Look, so uh, that's, Rashad. that's your guy. Uh, that's uh, the good senator, um, Tim Scott. What was he on a, a, a moped? He's on a moped. Then he was riding the rope at one time. He likes riding things. Okay. And so, so Senator that's Scott, a, that's, I saw what no, you did there. No, brother, no, no, brother. That's your mind in the gutter, brother. I'm just saying what the brother been doing. So, so Tim, that's Scott, a good one, by the way. No, no, brother. I'm just saying what what he keeps doing to, to try to get on TV. So Tim Scott is obviously in the, I guess, at least in his mind, he's in the running to be a, a VP pick. The way he did his campaign, ironically was probably the most positive campaign out of every Republican who was running for president. Um, when you look at his tone, I, I disagree with most of what he said, all right? Mm -hmm. But his tone was a very different kind of tone. If they're looking for an apologist for Trump, he would actually be an effective apologist in that, in that particular scenario. Does he appeal to black voters? No. Does he appeal to young voters? No. Does he appeal to suburban moms? No. He doesn't do any of that. I but think you. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. But but no, I was just make this last point. But Trump, I don't think he's going to make a decision based on the polling data. Mm -hmm. What say you? I, I, that's why I said it's impossible to to, to see the future and who his pick would be. Um, I thought Tim Scott was ran a perfect campaign for another time in our history. Yeah. Um, it, it just, the, the world, the country, the right, whatever you want to call it, the country, they're not looking for Mr. Nice Guy. Not even Biden is running as Mr. Nice Guy. Um, so I, I, I think that that hurts, that hurt him in the primary because it was just too nice. Uh, I, I don't think he's a good pick for Donald Trump because you need someone that can go out there and fight, not someone that fights nicely. Nikki Haley can get out there on the campaign trail with her guns blazing. Um, because we saw it in the primary, right? We saw her defend herself against Vivek. We saw her defend herself against Trump attacks in New Hampshire. So she can, she's a fighter. Tim Scott is yeah, just a but, nice guy. Yeah, but he's but, a nice but, guy. All right, so, so let's I talk about. So Nikki I don't Haley. think I don't think I don't think Tim Scott um come, is the pick. Yeah, and I and I will tell you this. I said this on my show that when he endorsed Donald Trump, I was disappointed in him because Nikki Haley was the one who got him in that gave spot. him the job. Uh, gave him the job. He ran for re-election, and I yeah. thought, I, and I see loyalty has got to mean something. It's Come got on, to mean something. And I I hammered him on my show about that when he when he uh, decided to endorse. Let, Trump. Let's go down this rabbit hole quickly before time runs out. I said the same thing, right? The man became a U.S. senator because she stuck her neck out on the line. She appointed him. He's still a black male, regardless of his conservative roots. She's in South Carolina. There are plenty and she had of just taken down the flag. That's right. She had just taken down the flag. She's in South Carolina. All of the sons of the Confederate, et cetera, those groups that are similarly situated were all saying off with her head. They were against her politically. You need that voting base in South Carolina inside of Republican primaries. She put a neck out on the line for Tim Scott, made him a U.S. senator. He did a good enough job for Republicans to keep him, all right, for, for their particular brand of politics. And then he turns around. I'm, here's the thing, brother. He doesn't just endorse Donald Trump, right? And, and keep in mind, you don't even have to endorse Trump because no. Trump is so far ahead. Right. Your endorsement doesn't right. sway the needle. So right. why was it necessary for him to endorse Donald Trump and kind of counter endorse Nikki Haley? Explain I this to me. I, I can't. I, I I hammered him on it. Let me tell you what I would have done if I were him. I would have gone to Nikki Haley and said, "Look, I'm not going to say anything until everything has run its course." Now, be, to your point, your endorsement early or late means nothing. It's not right. like you were bringing over your supporters. Your supporters were already made a decision because you dropped out so early. That's so right. it, it's just you know I I thought it was it was just bad. I didn't like it. I like Tim Scott. I'm a huge fan of Tim Scott. But on that endorsement, I did not agree. Not that it was an endorsement of Trump, was that you openly, right before New Hampshire, came out in support of, of Trump uh, while Nikki Haley was still running again. So I believe that was the timing. Even if yeah. it wasn't the timing, even if it was after the votes were counted in New Hampshire, you did it right before South Carolina, where you both are from South Carolina. So yeah. I, I and, and I think you make a great point. Your endorsement meant nothing. You didn't swing right. the needle one way or the other. You could have stayed on the sidelines and just chilled. Um, and even Trump made a joke about about it, but it was, I wouldn't have accepted it. You know, he said, wow, you must really dislike that lady, alluding to what we just talked about. Yep. I would never have gone out there and endorsed someone if he was going to take a shot at me on stage. I would have walked off the stage right there, going on, on television. Tim, 
division. Yeah. Go ahead and say he's not a leader like endorsement. that. Yeah, but Tim Scott that, is not a leader like that. And man. that and there begs the problem. He now he has some done some good things. You know, he fought very hard for criminal justice reform. I know we and you disagree. I, I think he fought very thing. hard to tank it. No, I don't think he did at all. I think he uh, SBA loans. He did a lot on that with the did, Ashley he did, Bell. He did he some. That's that. right. With, I was he did a lot with Ashley Bell. With Ashley Bell, he did a lot on that. But, uh, but and so he's run. He's, he's done some. Disagree. He's done some good. He's done some good work in the U.S. Senate, particularly vis-a-vis uh, -vis our people specifically. Not saying that this is for black people, but it did impact us, and, okay. and I and I, I applaud him for that. But this was bad. This was bad business. Let's go outside of the context of of um, Tim Scott and talk about Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley, who has gaffed multiple monk. times. All right, She's so that, that's the number one complaint that Trump supporters have about her, as far as people that call my show, mm -hmm. uh, my radio show. Uh, they don't like her because she's pro-war. Uh, they also don't like her because she has been inconsistent with her messaging in reference to the Confederacy, racism, etc. Now, we've seen these gaps, right? Now, the, the most recent one, um, she said, okay, Texas, they can secede from the union. Then she says this in front of a conservative audience and she goes on CNN. She says, you know what? They actually don't have the right to do so via the Constitution. I read the case law, I read the Constitution, I read the state ratification they tried to pass. It's very simple. They do not have the right to secede. They do not have the right to enter into a compact in order to secede from the union or from the country. So she did walk it back and say, because of the Constitution, they cannot do this. When you have individuals like this running for president, where they stand on these types of issues become paramount, dear brother. And so if you are vice president, you are one heartbeat away from being in charge of the entire nation. Now, right. does that thought scare you with a Nikki Haley or not? No, what scares me more than that is her warmongering. But I also understand the nature of politics and winning a tight election. And by all accounts, you said you follow the polling. The polling is very tight. The polling has a, a dead heat for the race between Biden and Trump. And so Kamala Harris hasn't dragged down Joe Biden in many ways. So a Nikki Haley wouldn't drag down a Trump. But so, Haley does better than Trump in many of the state to state so, polls. No, that's what I'm saying. So she helps him in, you know, in a large, in in a large way to your point, what you're asking me, but mm -hmm. I don't like her. That that secession question doesn't bother me as much as the okay. question of uh, her McCainism in bomb bombing everybody that seems to be a purported uh, enemy. Um, and she's too tied to the military industrial complex. She's a federal contractor with them. Uh, yeah. That was that's what she was doing. So those are the problems that the base has. The the succession question with Texas. You know, the answer to that question is no. Texas shouldn't succeed. Succeed. Excuse me. Um, what should happen is vote for me, Nikki Haley, and I'll make sure the the, um, the 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 op, the 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 problems don't exist that where Texas even wants to leave the union. Uh, that's the answer to that question. That's the answer to that question from any. But she doesn't. Know, she doesn't know how to do that, brother. No, she's, she's gapped too, at that so many damn yeah, times. Yeah. It's like, wait a minute. The only time I see on CNN is to correct something she said on Fox News. Well, that's the only time they'll bring her on. Hey, you damn right. right. I'd <laughs> same here. That'd be the exact yeah. same if I was on yeah. the show. So I mean, okay. I, I, I but I just think Nikki Haley gives Trump the best opportunity because she brings in suburban moms. Um, but she brings them in for a wrong reason. You know what I mean? Yeah. To the I think everybody, anybody who becomes Trump's vice president, I need them to call Mike Pence first. Yeah, it's a very good. That's a powerful statement to make. Yeah. Um, you know, but he's got to pick somebody, and someone's got to sign up for it. So it's really, I guess, the real question: Do they have to though? That's the that's what I was getting ready to say. The you know, the question, Constitution is kind of that's right. well. You the know question, what I mean? the, the real question is, what type of person does agree to that position? Because they're only going to do four years, right? Because he's he can't run again after four. So does that well, type wait, of person? Do you think uh, Trump is, is thinking about running or just staying? No, that's come on, man. Let's not See, go that, down that rabbit hole. The man no, is trying no, to nobody stay believes. No, oh, no, 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 he did not try. Come I on, come bring on. You back we we had a great conversation going. Come on, come on you man. You really think this man? It's going to just be like, talk. all right, yeah. guys, I got to go. Term After limit, terms you know? up, yeah, yeah, he's going to do that. Yeah, absolutely. He's gonna, come on, don't take it. Any, we had a good conversation going, my come brother. On, see, there you go, barber shopping on me. <laughs> 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 all right, we out of time, brother. But we'll, love we'll you, brother. have that discussion. I love you yes, back, sir. brother. I was good to see all you. Right. Talk to all you right. later. Peace. Talk to you later.